Surah 28, Ayah 38. Okay. And Pharaoh said, O oh chiefs, I know not that you have a God other than me. So kindle for me. Are oh, you speaking on the Quran? Man. So oh, kindle, no, it's, a, it's a translation. The so kindle for me, O oh Haman, to bake the mud and set up for me a lofty tower in order that I may survey the God of Moses and I consider him of the liars. Okay. Question to you is simple. When did the Egyptians bake the mud to build a lofty tower? When? Okay. In order for you to say what is right, what is wrong in the Quran, we need to have a criteria, correct? So first of all, we know historically speaking, if you look, if you look back to the story of Pharaoh, not the Egyptian Pharaoh, the, the, the Pharaohs of the Egyptian, because we know the Egyptian always write their history. Anyway, the point Shamsi, is, I'm no, 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 and what evidence have we got for that? Okay, what evidence have I got of that? The Muslim historians. Excuse me, Shamshi. Sham my name is Shamsi, not Shamshi. Shamsi. You can say Shamshi, Shamshi. Shamsi. Okay. Yes, what, what is my is, name? Huh? What is I my name? I don't know your name. And therefore, okay. forget, about, forget about taking moral high ground. No, but I don't if, know your if, name also. No, you know Why my name. Why should I know your name? You can say Shamshi, Shamsi, so you know my name. Obviously, when I read a particular source, and ask for evidence. Yeah. I'm not asking you to show that source again. Obviously. No. This should be obvious. No, no, no. So, excuse me. One no, second. No, no, no. When I read something from this book yeah. and ask you for evidence, yeah. I necessarily mean corroborating evidence, not for you to read the same thing again. If you do that, of course, every single statement in the world would be true. Okay. Oh, I am I am a I am an elephant. Well, what is what evidence is there? I just said so. It'd be silly. Okay. And therefore, in the context of what I did, obviously, I'm asking for evidence outside of the Quran. I could also help you in this. Okay. No, no. Before you help me, the help, the help that I could offer to you is, Egypt is one of the few nations in the entire world for which we have unparalleled level of archaeological artifacts oh, oh, oh. Uh, you can shoot himself in the wait, foot wait, 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 wait oh, we'll watch, watch. everything yeah, yeah. everyone is because watching remember, you have a fish don't memory don't worry remember that don't worry remember that. don't worry just okay. answer the big mud yes. show me one evidence out of the plenty of evidences from Egyptian archaeology yeah. just one I don't base the Quran to be the truth because of this story no as a holistic book there is many miracles in the Quran there is many proofs likewise from the arts of the Quran likewise the prophetic tradition is a prophecy to establish Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet and the Quran is a speech of Allah five minutes mud big bricks is an act uh, is incorrectly placed uh, during the time of Moses incorrectly placed just in the wrong time in the wrong land incorrect what evidence have you shown nothing what evidence can I show the contrary evidence I can show to you that this can't be true at all is the fact that mud baked bricks towers based on that are archaeological artifacts the fact of the matter is we find plenty of archaeological artifacts in Egypt but no mud baked brick and therefore the idea of mud baked brick based artifact and the fact that there, there exists none despite having plenty of archaeological artifacts in Egypt tells you that this is a fantasy idea misplaced in time and space. Finish, name, finish, but big bricks, yeah. you can't provide an evidence, I can provide counter evidences. Counter evidences from the fact that plenty of archaeological artifacts but zilch of mud bag brick towers. Perfect. Counter so evidence. Is we not Counter evidence. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. finish. Let him remember that he's doing a job for us for Christian to be Muslims. Never have the habit of listening. Never. Never have the habit of listening. Can you speak, please? Go on. I'm going to. If you stay quiet, if you stay quiet, thank you. In contrast, go to the dead people coming back alive. I can't provide any evidence outside of the Bible. Can you provide counter evidence that that did not happen? Can you do that? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. So look to the hypocrisy. 
you counter evidence that the, the, the Prophet Muhammad, uh, Prophet Moses, and with the Pharaoh never happened. What is it? Because you're saying, no, no, no. Counter because, evidence, if I could repeat. No, 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 Hundreds of archaeological artifacts in Egypt. Yes, 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 that the fact well, that you can't let provide let evidence. Let me finish. Let me finish. And the finish. fact that you read the Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yes. Two things here. No well, five minutes. Bro, 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 bro. Just who bro. told you about five minutes? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> is that Shamshi's assistant there? You know? no. Shamshi's <laughs> second assistant. Anyway, there. anyway, the story of the baked mud, you can go clear to Oman and many countries. Yeah, when you go Egypt. to Egypt, bro, bro, I, mean, no, Egypt. I told you it's not Egypt. 1,500 BC, your promise is bro, false. Your promise is false. Your promise is false because the story of Moses in the Quran, we don't believe took place in Egypt. Exactly. Would you believe it's Egypt? And it's oh, another oh, land. Oh, oh, so you're wrong. You, uh, let me finish. Where your promise is wrong. Fantasy. Let me finish. Let me, Pharaoh let me finish. Oman. Let me finish. Did you hear I that? Say, I just say Oman. I just say Oman. Listen, learn how to Pharaoh, listen. Pharaoh, not in Egypt. No, where where, 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 one of their kings was called Pharaoh, and that was the story that I Amalekites. Bro, bro, bro. I mean, a let king me speak. of Amalekites let me, was a Pharaoh. Let me speak. Which, which king was this? Can I speak? If you are how do be left? Well, if I let you speak for five minutes, it's already five minutes. Before you learn how to listen. Listen, you know, advise yourself first. Pharaoh, you advise me. In Amalekites. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Now, if you go to the history, even amongst them, the, the Western historians, they will tell you when you read the history of Egypt. Clearly, the Egyptians were known to write down the history, but the history of Moses is a great history. That Moses and the Pharaoh was drowned in the water, was destroyed, the army and everything. It's not written. How is it not written? But when you go to the Muslim historians, Alhamdulillah already knew about the archaeologists of our time. That yes, Moses and the story of Moses and Pharaoh is not what the people think Egypt our time. Because Arabic Masr means land. And the Muslim historians mentioned it was a different place. Now, now, wait, 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 wait. Before we go off to anything, your premises was wrong to begin with. Your, Do you accept your, that? Your statements are completely uh, take historical. 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 Don't be in the Bible. Histori don't be. Don't be. Histori anyway. Prove to me that uh, dead people come back to life. Historically. Historically. That, prove to me dead people come back to life. Historically. Prove to me dead people come back to life. Don't your be in the Bible. Prove to me dead people come back to life. Incorrect. Prove to me that people come back to life. Even get you prove to me. primary school. Prove schooling. to me. Yes. The guy who believed that people come back to Your life in Jerusalem. No one wrote it down. I believe in prove God. To me. Who can raise dead people back to life? Well, I believe in God. in God. I believe in God. Doesn't do who, it. No, no. And therefore, wait, wait, wait. this I'm, is a bit of a no, surprise no, I believe to you. in God. I appreciate who can that. create nation and disappear them. Yes, see. It's not wrong. For dead people because coming you are, back alive is wrong. during the time of Jesus. Yeah. I can't provide evidence okay. outside of the Bible. Okay. Can you provide counter evidence? No. You simply yes, you can't. Can. Can. You may. Can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. The Romans. The Romans. What's the evidence? I tell you. The, the Romans come back alive. The Romans were okay. known to read to write history. Really? Are you? Yeah. Which really? Romans? Uh, which? Uh, which? Which? No, no. which? Well, I'll give you the evidence now. Surah 28, Ayah 38, talks about. Mud baked bricks. A tower based of mud baked bricks. Two, there are three problems actually. Yeah, there are multiple problems in this uh, surah. Two problems in this particular verse that I'd like to point out to. Number one, mud baked bricks used uh, to build uh, large towers did not happen in Egypt. Not certainly during the time of Moses. Number one. Number two, Mud baked bricks and uh, claiming up that to go and check out if God of Moses was there is again an anachronistic idea. Anachronistic idea that to me seems like comes from the time of Tower of Babel. Obviously, someone who wrote this did not know the time difference between the Tower of Babel and Moses in Egypt. Because they did not know the time difference and because they did not know the place difference because that happened in China, the land of China, Babel, Babylon. Because they did not know the difference between the geography and the time, they obviously used this 
example here. I have reasons to think perhaps this is one of the reasons why people never let the Quran, people, people, uh, people advance the idea that the Quran must be read only in Arabic because it seems like when foreigners began, uh, when foreigners begin reading the Quran in their own mother tongues, they figure out all these problems and to me it seems like that could be a reason why they are foreigners who knew about their own lands, Egyptians who knew their own land at that time, I'm not talking about Egyptians today, Egyptians of that time and uh, and Babylonians of their time would know that something is seriously wrong here and to me it seems that that might be a good reason why the Quran was asked to read was asked to be read only in Arabic anyway coming back to the point incorrect ideas related to Egypt Shamsi seems to think that the problem uh, my my logic has a problem which is that he can't give evidence and I can't prove that to be incorrect my point is not that my point is he can't give me evidence for mud baked bricks based tower and I can give him the lack of evidence despite the fact that there are plenty of archaeological evidences in Egypt and that is counter evidence in other words we're not talking about a simple lack of evidence we're talking about lack of evidence in a place where there are plenty of evidences for all sorts of other things in other words it seems like this story is a fantasy story which do just doesn't fit in there obviously Mohammed said this why did he say this excuse me I'm, I'm not a Hebrew Israelite, I'm a Christian. Excuse me, I am a Christian. You ran away from me, Shamsi. You ran away from me, Shamsi. I don't know why you're here again. If you want a proper debate, we can do that. Fact of the matter is, Muslims across the world, there are plenty of errors in the Quran. Plenty. Some of which are crucial historical errors. Based on that, when the Quran contradicts with the Bible, you can clearly see which book got it right. Shamsi again spoke about uh, the, 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 the assistant of Shamsi who stood behind him, said there is no evidence for the kingdom of Israel. And this is a laughing matter because to me it seems like he is not educated even in the alphabets of the historical resources available to back up the historicity the of the nation of Israel. Tell Dan Stile, Mernapta Stile, what does he know about them? To me, it seems like nothing. All that he knows is refer to Prophet Google, get a couple of articles somewhere, read things which suits his beliefs. That's what he has done. The Bible is uh, trustworthy. The Bible is reliable, historically, theologically. And ultimately, in the Bible, what do we find? God of the heavens and the earth who created mankind, against whom mankind disobeyed and therefore came in the judgment. That God is a very compassionate God. Not, not like the Islamic Allah of the Quran, but a very compassionate Yahweh. And that Yahweh, over a couple of millennia, told the nation of Israel that he was going to send his own son his own son was going to come in as a as a sin offering as a as an offering for our redemption and that is precisely what Jesus did Jesus came in to this world gave up his life for us on the cross not because he couldn't say anything against it but because he wanted to go through that Jesus willingly laid down his life but thankfully also Jesus came back alive on the third day the power of resurrection the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ is able to bring you and me back alive after we are dead it is that God who can bring us back alive who can give life to the dead that we really need to follow Everyone else is just a wannabe, but Jesus alone is God eternal with real proven track record of supernatural power. Yahweh of the Bible is the only one who is worthy to be followed.
Muslims across the world, I earnestly commend to you, you need to come to Jesus and follow him. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the one who would let us into heaven. There is no one else who could save us except for Jesus. Come to Jesus and you would enjoy a very happy life. Jesus said, those who believe in me shall not die and even if they die, they shall come back alive. That is the Jesus I invite you all to God's richest blessings to you all. Thank you. Bye.